About a year ago, I experienced my first panic attack. That moment changed the, the course of my life in, in a way that nothing else ever has. It's incredible um, what all of that led to. Um, so some of the darkest moments of my life. Um, that panic attack led to the awareness of anxiety in my life. Um, anxiety being a whole new thing to me, um, but present in every single day situations. And it was almost like in a split second, I went from living in this world with all these people that I love and know and ex great experiences and immediately switched to, to me like living in a different realm almost and looking in on, on everybody else's lives and day-to-day -day activities and everybody's happy and experiencing joy and, and I'm looking in on it and I just am not able to grasp my own emotions and, and to understand my own feelings and thoughts and, and I, I guess the scariest part about the whole situation is when eventually it um, led to depression and for someone like me that you know I've I've accomplished a lot of what I've set out to do in my life and and have had a lot of really great experiences and uh, on a daily basis I, you know incredible things are happening in my life that I'm so thankful for and it was just so hard for me to understand how I could possibly be feeling these emotions when everything in reality was going right I, you know, as long as I've been in Memphis, I've, I've, I've gotten letters from fans uh, that, you know, have talked about depression, talked about anxiety, talked about um, panic attacks and things like that and how they affect their life in such dramatic ways and I never understood it. You know, I, I felt like I could sympathize to a certain extent, but I never fully grasped what that meant and, and just how life-changing it can be. I now can relate with so many people on that level and it's obvious to me now that I went through all of that for a reason. And that reason is to sympathize with, with people that are going through it and also to share my story of how I got through it and how I got over it, how I overcame anxiety and depression. This whole record came about from, from that experience and from everything that's happened in my life over the past year. When we started writing for this record, I, I had a completely different idea of what I wanted to do. And um, when this all hit me, I, I couldn't think about anything else. My brain was only focused in, in one area, and, and that was my thoughts of, of depression and anxiety and, and panic. And um, I had no choice but to write about this. When I started writing the record, I wrote tracks um, on the record that are just specifically about anxiety, the emotions that I was having and the thoughts I was having and, and where I felt like I was. And, um, you know, I, I grew up in, in, a, in a really religious household, so I've, I've always understood that, you know, you're supposed to look to God when things go wrong and if you just pray, everything will be okay and, and, and all those, um, you know, ideas. And, 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 I, and I would pray and I would reach out to God and I wouldn't feel anything. And, and, and I would get so angry and it, and it was the most trying time in, in my life for my faith because I just didn't understand how a God that claims to love us so much could be ignoring me in, in my time of despair. Um, I recently read a book called Jesus Is and it's about the unconditional love of Christ for humanity. It's about grace and it's about mercy. And like I said, growing up in a Christian home, I, I was always uh, hearing the words grace and mercy and grace and mercy. And it, it's kind of like, you know, when you hear a word so many times, it starts to lose its meaning. So I, I you know, I, I understood that God is gracious and God is merciful, you know, but I, ne I never really understood it. I didn't even really truly understand what those words meant in, in the biblical times that they were being written. In that book, Jesus Is, um, it really, it, it described to me as, um, you know, a, a person living in the modern world in 2013, what grace actually means, what mercy actually means, uh, what the unconditional love of Christ actually looks like.
and, and understand that just because you believe in God doesn't mean that life is going to be perfect. And it doesn't mean that we're not going to experience trials and tribulations. And, and honestly, I, I believe that God puts his strongest children through his, the hardest battles. The point of this record is to let people know that I am an imperfect human being and I go through a lot of the same things that our fan base goes through. And a lot of the record talks about the unconditional love of Christ and how that pulled me out of these times and how that ultimately is my saving grace and and what it really truly means to look to Jesus in every situation. Um, I don't at all want this to be a record that feels religious and, and I wish people would understand that you know it's not about religion for me it's just clearly about the gospel and the gospel is not a bunch of rules and regulations and religion because anybody with an ounce of reality in their blood understands that we as human beings are completely incapable of fulfilling the law, of, of ever, you know, truly living up to the, to the commandments. And, and that, that is the meaning of grace. God came not to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law, to do something that we could never do. And he didn't do that because he, you know, he was angry with us. He didn't do that because um, he had to, but he did that because he loves us. When you realize what it means to be loved by your creator, when creation acknowledges creator, everything is different. The way that I see things, the way that I look at things, even, even my darkest hours, I understand now are just my times to grow, my time to understand God's love for me in an even deeper way. You know, it's hard to say that I would ever be thankful for depression or for anxiety, because I'm not. And if I could go and do it all over again, I don't know if I'm strong enough to say that I would. But I see now that it was the only way for me to truly understand for myself what it means to be a follower of Jesus. On this record, I talk about my own experiences with anxiety and depression and how I found my way out of it. But I also talk about you know, what I think it's like to be um, a kid in high school these days and the things that they go through and the bullying that they endure. And um, you know, I think people really need a song to relate to a lot of times. And that's, that's what this whole record is from front to back. No matter what the exact uh, song is about, it, it, that song is there to offer hope, to offer uh, a message of I can relate. I'm starting to realize the, the most that I can do for our fan base is to let them know from the most honest part of my life that I struggle with the exact same things that they do and that I have found an answer. Um, there's a song called The Answer on this record which is one of the most valuable songs to me. It's almost anxiety part two. It is, it is what I was looking for. It is the answer. It is my true understanding. On this record I talk about uh, how I always thought a certain level of success or a certain level of social stature would um, fulfill my wildest needs and how I always felt like that was what I wanted out of all this and what I needed. Um, you know, and, and, and I talk about how no matter how big this band ever got or no matter how much fame I ever got, that's not at all what I was really looking for the whole time. It's not enough. Um, it, it all boils down to love and to affecting lives and to, to really relating one-on-one -on -one with people. And the, the, answer, the answer to everything, to life, is to loving someone else. When you're in your darkest hours, when you're going through your hardest times, to find someone who's experiencing that and to share with them, to let them know that you're there with them, there for them. And they are that for you, vice versa. That, that's, that's what love is. That, that's what we were meant to do here on earth. And the closing track on this record um, is just about 
our divine purpose as individual people. Everybody has a different divine purpose, but we all have a divine purpose to be nothing short of a miracle story. We are all here for a purpose and, and, I, and I just encourage anybody that ever feels like they're at a spot in their life where they feel worthless, um, to do everything you can to just stop questioning your existence and understand that you exist for a reason. And whether you understand what that is now or not, one day you will. You'll look back on the difference that you made and it'll erase every second of doubt that you ever had. I now understand why some people have the thought of giving up and committing suicide. Why some people feel like they would, if they have to feel these feelings of anxiety and depression forever, that they would rather feel nothing at all. I understand that now. I really hope that this record can be an introduction for people that are looking for answers. I have a burning desire to write songs that are meaningful and that offer hope. And in the past, I've written songs that I didn't even understand were going to offer hope, and they, and they did to uh, you know, a generation of kids that is just hurting. And I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't ever want people to feel like I'm preaching at them or I'm shoving my ideas down their throat or, or I'm trying to make them believe in God at all. I'm not trying to make anybody do anything, but all I can do is tell my story of where I was the things that I went through and how I got out of that and how I got to a better place. And this is it. What is more honest, what is more compassionate than the unconditional love of our Creator? This is unconditional. <laughs>